Hi guys, it is Jamie. I wanted to address the last video that I did. I didn't realize when I was recording it how misleading or how open for interpretation I had left some things. Uh, and I'm sorry to anybody that I like made you have a sad or feel like it was a, fa a sad story. Like it's okay to have sad stories. It's obviously okay to have sad stories, but I didn't want to throw them at you without any warning. Um, I just didn't, it didn't occur to me that, that this would be interpreted as a sad story because the truth of the matter is it was a real story. It happened to me and I do not look back on it with any sadness. I look back at it with only amusement. Um, I did have an accident. I fell off a horse and I spent about two days uh, having trouble forming new memories. And after that, I had about a year with occasional lapses where I'd be like driving home and I don't quite know where I'm going. I don't know. I don't remember the route home, even though I was in the area that I'd grown up. I knew I knew I knew I knew that I knew these roads, but I just had to trust that when I got to the turn I needed, I would I would remember I would recognize it. Um, but that was only that was that was not bad. It was the day I or the, maybe the day, maybe the day after. I don't know. Um shortly after the accident, I do have some memories of the, like the five questions that I asked on a loop, apparently what happened to me? And then what I have a horse, I fell off a horse. I have a horse. Uh, and then was I wearing my helmet and did I dent my helmet? Cause I thought that was funny. And looking back, it is very funny to me that for one, it's not a funny joke. And I kept asking it like every 15 minutes, apparently that makes me laugh that makes me happy. So, <laughs> um, and then I asked, is my horse okay? Or is she back in the barn? I was, I was, I was concerned about the horse. Um, I was never scared. I was never traumatized. I was never upset. I was just curious about what happened to me. <laughs> and, um, I changed the story, two things in the story. I changed the name of the dog and, because it was rude. <laughs> it was, it was not a polite name. And, um, I changed that the guy I was living with was actually not my roommate. He was my boyfriend at the time. And I did not remember that he was my boyfriend. <laughs> we'd started, we'd just moved in. We'd started dating like six months or so earlier and less than a year, more than six months. I don't know how long. Um, but I didn't remember dating him. I didn't remember moving in with him. And I thought when I was making this story that like, that's not a romantic, like f forgetting your, 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 your boyfriend. That's, that's not cool. Um, and I had had a crush on this. I knew who he was. I'd had a crush on him for years and he just ignored me. He didn't care about it. He, I was a little kid. He didn't care. That's, that's not, that, I mean, I just made him sound creepy. He's two years older than I am, but I knew him in middle school. So he just thought of me as a little kid for a long time. Um, but I had no idea that we were living together. I had no idea that we were dating. And, um, so yeah, it's, it, it is a happy story for me. I, I'm sorry to anybody that I made feel sad about that. And this was a little behind the scenes to one story. <laughs> I stand by what I said though. What I do remember of that period, what I do remember of those two days when I had trouble forming new memories is that it was like freaking Christmas. Everything was new to me. I had a dog. I had a horse. I had a cute little A-frame cottage in the woods with a babbling brook that went under the, under the, the, the corner of the porch. It was so cute. And, uh, so that was it. And once again, I'm, I'm sad. I'm sorry. I didn't want anybody to be upset. And I'm, I'm sorry if I made you think of troubling experiences or made you feel sad for the character that is me. I promise you that she lived happily ever after and, uh, you know, her head's kind of working okay now, ish. I'll talk to you later and thank you for listening, guys. Bye-bye.